Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good, having fun and staying safe. I really, really missed saying this sentence and I really missed you all. With that being said, today we are going to be doing a video of awarding my perfumes. So I have four awards wherein I am going to be choosing and picking the perfumes that I feel are best suited for that particular award. Now this video is really, really well thought of beforehand, but I just... I don't know why I was very very lazy to kind of sit down and film this video for you so with that being said let's get started so the award number one is for the most finest packaging so out of my entire perfume collection I feel the finest packaging like the most luxurious premium outstanding packaging according to me as for my collection is concerned has to be something which is from YSL like this in itself really really stands out for its packaging the scent is beautiful too but the packaging is something that I really cannot take my eyes off so this is the outer package this is quite basic and this is not something that I would award it for the best packaging of course looking at the carton but then the bottle itself is such a beautiful thing to look at it's such a delight let me give you a close-up and then we can talk more about how well did I like this scent because as you can clearly see that I've used like I think fairly half of this one because I really like this and before stating that I would also like to mention that this is pretty long lasting this has really really great strength in itself but still I was able to use more than half like almost half of this one that speaks a lot about my liking and my love for this one besides the packaging so the packaging is so stunning like this YSL logo in itself is so beautiful it's so premium not just that we have this little intent indent right here I think um, this one is how much 90 ml this is a 90 ml version this one is a taller and slimmer bottle and i really wanted to get the 90 ml this is the lieb edp intense not the original one but the intense version of the original ysl lieb neck of the bottle has this golden chain detailing as you can see and this is the basic spray which is gold in color and the cap feels quite heavy this is um, again asymmetrical sort of a cap as you can see it has a slant right here going on and i think it's such a beautifully crafted and designed bottle it really catches the eye wherever you have kept it in your collection let's talk about the scent a little bit i feel that this is a very long lasting scent this is a compliment getter from both men and women because this is super super strong this could be a little irritating and intimidating if you are somebody who has a very subtle or sober like scent preferences this one is not for you but if you're somebody who is okay to kind of go a little bit bold in terms of their scent and this one is definitely the one that you should consider buying or maybe consider sniffing at your nearest sephora if i may say so this has notes of lavender mandarin orange and bergamot these are for the top notes the heart note or the middle note as we call it is lavender orange blossom again as you could see top note has lavender middle note has lavender but hear me out just don't judge a perfume solely by the notes so this has the uh, heart notes of lavender orange blossom jasmine sandbag and orchids which is basically florals with lavender and then the base note says madagascar vanilla Tonka beans, ambergris and vetiver. So if I were to buy this basis just reading the notes of this one, I would tell you 100% that I would have never ever ever got this. But because I saw a lot of reviews and those reviews were very very promising and they said and claimed that this one is really vanillic. This one is really heavy on the vanilla and tonka notes and not on the lavender notes. And now that I have it and I've used it so much, I could definitely give you that verdict that yes, that's the truth. This is claiming to have lavender in their top note and middle note, but you don't really detect the lavender that much. Probably the sexiness or the boldness is there in this scent because of the vanilla, sorry, because of the lavender in this, but the lavender is not so, so overpowering as it gives an impression to the notes of this one. So this is a very nice vanillic tonka bean rich scent 
with that boldness from the lavender like but the award for most finest packaging goes to this particular scent from YSL Leap. Let's move on to the next one. All right, the next award is for most underrated affordable perfume. This by far has to be my favorite perfume since I was a kid, I would say. And the award again for most underrated, in my opinion, most underrated affordable perfume goes to none other than engage yang this is really good really really good but it's really really underrated i have not seen anybody talk about this particular perfume but i rave about this i literally rave about this and i i remember doing a video i think that was my third or fourth video of my channel about this particular scent like engage scents and this was also there in that particular video and in that also i talked highly 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 about this scent because this definitely deserves that space this definitely deserves that spot so this one is a very girly fruity gourmand edible mouth watering scent like this is the kind of scent profile or this is the kind of exactly the scent for which i am really willing to pay more this definitely is such a rich scent that makes you feel that this is very expensive yet this is very very affordable this comes under rupees 1000 i am not too sure about the um, prices as of now like the specific prices but this is definitely the one which comes under 1000 rupees and this is such a well crafted scent if you love fruity scents if you are really inclined towards edible gourmand scents then i think you are really missing out on this you should definitely 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 try this one this however should not be considered as a unisex scent you could wear this but i won't recommend you to get this if you are a guy this is definitely like a very sweet perfume like a date night perfume it could be and this actually i would like to confess this is the one because of which i am here on this channel filming videos for you guys because i used to wear this particular perfume non-stop and i used to get a lot of compliments from everybody around me so that's why i just in was intrigued by the perfume world i was so intrigued by the sense that i tried more and more and more and my liking went to another level so it was because of this particular perfume and i swear i have used bottles and bottles and bottles of this particular perfume because of how good this is so you should definitely try it in my opinion and as of for the notes it has red berries i guess orange toffee but believe me just don't go by the notes it's a really good fruity edible mouth watering scent and it's such a happy wipes scent it just gives you a mini so wipe also it's very uplifting very good try it for yourself now with that being said let's move on to the third award so which is the most iconic scent now the parameter for me deciding this as an iconic scent or what according to me should qualify for an iconic scent is the fact that it has created a legacy legacy by legacy i mean that there are dupes after dupes for this particular scent. This has been replicated a lot. This probably was so, so famous at one point in time that people just decided to mimic this scent all over and whatever brand tried to mimic it, it's like, it's one of their best sellers. So this is why I call this a very, very iconic scent. And I'm talking about none other than Carolina Herrera, good girl. This is a scent which has been copied a lot, probably because this is such a very well done profile, scent profile. Like Zara has one of its dupe. Rene is a brand that sells, I think Rene Bloom is the one which is exactly a replica of Carolina Herrera, good girl. Now I am not here talking about the dupe specifically. So I have done one video of Zara perfumes wherein I compared this and the Zara flanker like the one that is very very similar to this one but what i'm trying to say is the fact that this is expensive like this is from a designer brand and this was really really popular because of the shoe packaging but now i think it's popular more popular because of the scent profile also i really used to like this scent and i still would admit that i really like this scent this is really really complicated really really complex this is really really good to wear 
this could be a little bit intimidating for you because again this is very 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 powerful like two sprays three sprays four sprays maximum is what you need to get you all smelling good all throughout the day this is how powerful this is so that is one of the qualities but having said that the amount of flankers are there for this particular perfume right now in the market would i suggest you to still go ahead and invest in this one probably no so if i were to buy this today having said that we really have a lot of flankers in the market for this particular one i would be very honest and i would say i would have not bought it but since i bought it back like two three years ago i don't even remember so that's the reason why probably i got it and i really loved it and i would cherish this but of course i'm not gonna repurchase this i might go ahead and try other flankers from this one because of course of the strength of the perfume which is really an important factor if you're investing in a luxury perfume i at least look for the fact that it should be a little longer lasting than other normal category perfume as of now i'm not planning to get any other good girls and if you were to buy this only for the packaging that's your call but if you want to have a pleasure of this particular luxury scent you could definitely go in and try the flankers the flankers would not be as long lasting as this one because original being the original luxury versus basic perfume so of course you decide pick your poison all right with that being said uh let's just let me just give you the notes of this one so this has a lot of notes which are almond coffee bergamot lemon tuberose jasmine probably that's why it's very very confusing in my opinion it has tonka beans it has uh vanilla praline sandalwood musk cashmere wood patchouli oh my god cedar jasmine bahut sare notes like a lot of notes are there in this one and i think that's what makes it complicated but that's what also makes it stand out this is the original one but this is in the limited edition glitter packaging so with that the award for most iconic perfume would go to this one and i totally i hope i did justice to the explanation of why this is iconic to me haan ji to last award is for the outstanding achiever award tada can we have the music please so this award is for the perfume which i feel has really outshined you know its counterparts or the brand has done such a very well done scent and that's why it's an outstanding achiever award and that was unexpected for me so i am talking about zara rich warm addictive i never thought that i would love this so much to have used more than half of this one i am as you can see down till here and that's solely because i really 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 enjoy this one this is so such a good scent and one mind boggling fact about this one is this is an edt from zara but still it performs really better than majority of edps from zara this is the strength of this particular scent and i feel this is literally rich and warm and addictive this definitely makes you smell so rich this is so mouth watering this is so comforting a lot of people say that this is a winter scent while i cannot say no to the fact that this could be the one that makes you feel comforted during the winter times but still i have worn this in summers also like throughout this particular summer months i use this perfume i love this perfume and i've had people coming up to me and asking for the perfume that i'm wearing and it was rich warm addictive from zara while they keep on changing the formulation of this one i think every 2 years i wish this particular one stays and i really cannot say that i am more impressed with any other zara perfume that i am with this one i whenever i go to the zara perfume stores like whenever i am trying new zara perfumes i always make a point to smell this one because i really feel happy sniffing this scent and i just cannot appreciate this enough If you have not tried this then please trust me and do try this one you are definitely not going to be disappointed this has really beautiful mouth watering notes as well this has rum which is really rare 
this is one of my most favorite zara scents so far this is so good i definitely see myself wearing this more and more because of how good this is and how long lasting this is so while i apply this in the morning i don't have to worry about touching up my scent which itself is a big relief for me because otherwise i'm like very very conscious oh my god i'm not smelling of anything it has notes of rum white peony vanilla bourbon and i don't know it has some coconut also like beautiful tobacco blended really 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 well really 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 smoothly that's why it just gives that very beautiful mouth watering effect to this one and with that we are done with the entire category of perfumes that i wanted to show you let's have a quick look at our winner so we have the first winner as ysl leap intense the next one that we have is engage yang third award for this one which is the most iconic most replicated scent carolina herrera good girl and the last one is my favorite rich warm and addictive i really love and appreciate all of these scents with that we are done with our video i hope you enjoyed the concept of this video and do let me know if you want to see more videos from my end and definitely let me know which perfumes you want me to review what other videos you'd like to see on this channel and i shall see you in my next video bye